In this example, we want to calculate the concentration of a diluted of a working solution. And we have a stock solution with a given volume and a dilution factor here. The dilution factor is 1 to 93.8. So what are we doing? How can we think about it? So we have our stock solution and this has 315.2 millimolar. So that's our C1. And what we do in this case is we just take one part of our stock solution and dilute it one to 93.8. That's the dilution factor. That basically means we take this one part from our stock solution and put it in a total volume of 93.8. So we could actually say we have volume of one, that's one part here from the stock solution, and volume two would be 93.8 parts for the working solution. We know that the number of moles that we transfer is the same, so N1 equals N2, and therefore we can write C1 V1 equals C2 V2, um, because this gives us the number of moles here. And we are looking actually for the concentration of our working solution. So we just simply rearrange this equation. C2 equals C1 times V1 over V2. And I've written that in a slightly expanded form. We know what C1 is. That's our concentration, that's 315.2 millimolar, and that here is our dilution factor. So we took one part from the stock into a total volume of 93.8. The units cancel each other out, so for C2 we can write C2 equals 315.2 millimolar times 1 over 93.8. And that has no dimension. And if we put that into a calculator, we get 3.4 millimolar. Quick reality check. Our working solution, the diluted solution, has a much lower concentration than our stock solution. So we have done it the right way around. Uh, because if we took the dilution factor the other way around, we would get a much higher number and that would not make any sense whatsoever. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.